वेलकम टू मैथ्स मेड इजी टुडे वी हैव अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन फीचरिंग लॉ ऑफ इंडाइसिस एंड ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिकल आइडेंटिटी बिफोर वी बिगेन आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल द व्यूवर्स टू सब्सक्राइब दिस यूट्यूब चैनल दिस कीप्स मी मोटिवेटेड थैंक यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो नाउ वी हैव साइन स्क्वायर एक्स एंड कॉस स्क्वायर एक्स आई विल कन्वर्ट any of them in other form for example i can convert cos square x in terms of sin square x or sin square x in terms of cos square x i will i will convert this cos square x in sin square x so i have 81 raised to sin square x plus 81 raised to 1 minus sin square x because we have a formula of trigonometrical identity that says sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1 that means the value of cos square x is equal to 1 minus sin square x a raised to m minus n that is a raised to m upon a raised to n in this part so we have 81 raised to sin square x plus 81 to upon 81 raised to sin square x is equal to 30 now for the sake of simplicity i will substitute this part as y 81 sin square x is equal to y so we have our equation like this y plus 81 upon y is equal to 30 which after rearranging we will reach to this point y square minus 30y plus 81 now we have to find the root of this equation of course you can go y is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a but i would like to go a simpler way i like to go this way i have to find numbers which when multiplied should give me 81 or added and subtracted should give me 30 so the numbers are 27 and 3 minus 27 minus 3 so i can write this minus 30y in terms of minus 27y minus 3y y raised to 2 minus 27y minus 3y plus 81 now taking y common from the first part and minus 3 common from the second part we have y y minus 27 minus 3 y minus 27 is equal to 0 now i can take y minus 27 common from both the terms so inside the bracket y minus 3 is only left y minus 3 and y minus 27 is equal to 0 therefore the value of y we have here is y is equal to 3 and y is equal to 27 but we know that y is equal to 81 raised to sin square x because we have only substituted this value So, eighty-one raised to sine square x is equal to three, or eighty-one raised to sine square x is equal to twenty-seven. Now, whenever we have to solve this kind of exponent, we our objective is to make the base same on both the side. LHS and RHS, the base should be same. In here, you can see that eighty-one can be written in terms of three. We can write eighty-one also like this. 3 raised to power 4 so this is done sorted how about this one 81 and 27 i cannot write 81 in terms of 27 or 27 in terms of 81 but what i can do is i can make the base of both the term common so this 81 can be written as 3 raised to 4 as you have seen earlier and 27 can be written as 3 raised to 3 so we have like this 3 raised to 4 instead of 81 sin square x is equal to 3 raised to 1 3 raised to 4 instead of 81 sin square x 3 raised to 3 for 27 now this can also be written as 3 raised to 4 sin square x is equal to 3 3 raised to 4 sin square x is equal to 3 raised to 3 now since the base are same i can equate the equation and we have 4 sin square x is equal to 1 Four sine square x is equal to three. Now, 
this 4 comes here under 1 this 4 comes under here under 3 so we have the value of sine square x is equal to 1 upon 4 sine square x is equal to 3 upon 4 taking root square root on both the side we have the value of sine x that is 1 upon 2 we have the value of sine x that is root 3 upon 2 now x is equal to sine inverse 1 upon 2 sending the sine to the other side x is equal to sine inverse root 3 upon 2 in this trigonometric table you can see the value of sine is 1 upon 2 when angle is 30 degree so the x is 30 for this one the value of sine is root 3 upon 2 when angle is 60 degree so the value of x are 30 degree and 60 degree I hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please like share and subscribe this channel I'll see you in next one thank you for watching